All right, so let's start this broadcast with this big breaking story that has come in from the United States of America. The Secret Service Director, Kimberly Cheetle, the woman who was in the midst of a storm in the aftermath of the attempt of assassination on Donald Trump, has now reportedly tendered her resignation. An official announcement is expected on this pretty soon. Yesterday, remember, Cheetle faced a pretty hostile bipartisan condemnation when she appeared before the House of Representatives Oversight Committee, facing a flurry of questions that she declined to answer questions from many frustrated lawmakers about the security plan for the rally and as to how law enforcement had responded to the suspicious behavior of the gunman. Several Republican and Democrat lawmakers yesterday had called on her to resign immediately, but she refused to do so at that time. The agency came under harsh scrutiny for its complete failure to stop the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump during a campaign rally on the 13th of July. The Secret Service, which is responsible for the protection of the current and former U.S. presidents, faces a crisis after a gunman was able to get on top of a building that was left unattended, it appears from the looks of it, and then fire from the rooftop overlooking the outdoor rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. So this is the big breaking development that has happened in, in just a bit from now, where the head of the Secret Service has now finally resigned. All right, now to give us more perspective on this, we're being joined in by our correspondent, Susan Tehran, who's tracking the story very closely for us. Susan, this, this is a big development. Um, Kimberly Cheetle, when she appeared in front of the House Committee, she said that she believes that she's the best person to do the job and had refused to resign. But what we are picking up at this end up is to be that she has indeed tendered in her resignation. So what has happened since the time that she made her appearance in front of the House Committee and now? I'm sorry, I didn't get your question. Uh, you got cut off. Uh, my question to you, Susan, was what has now convinced Kimberly Cheetle to tender in her resignation? Because when she sat in front of the House Committee, she said that she's the best person to do the job and she was not going to resign. But today she has yeah. tendered her resignation. Well, we do know that uh, Mike Johnson, uh, the House Speaker, House Majority Speaker, had talked to her behind closed door. He had suggested that she would resign. They called on President Biden to fire her. And then we saw uh, that hearing on Capitol Hill yesterday on Monday, where for hours she was berated. Uh, and ultimately what happened was, first of all, the entire nation was watching on the one hand. And second of all, there was bipartisan consensus for her to resign and step aside. And since uh, President Biden did not essentially fire her, then she was basically at a point of no return. I, what, that hearing, what it demonstrated was either she was not willing to answer just the most basic questions about what happened that day in Butler, Pennsylvania, where uh, President Trump was, would have essentially been assassinated if he had not turned his head, but she also was not willing to cooperate with the committee on any matter going back and constantly saying that an internal investigation is being carried out and I'll let you know in 60 days. That's a no-go, uh, not only for the Republicans, but it seems for the Democrats as well. And then yesterday afternoon, we saw an official letter, a bipartisan letter of the House, where both uh, James Comer and Jamie Raskin, who were heading this committee, called her to resign. I do want to say that there is also going to be a hearing at 10 a.m., today in response to that July 13th assassination attempt. And this one is the House Committee on Homeland Security. So while Kimberly Cheeto will be resigning, we do know that these hearings are going to continue and the House wants to carry out an investigation uh, moving forward as well. Kimberly Cheeto in her uh, letter, which is internal, and as you rightly mentioned, we're gonna hear publicly um, in some capacity from her later on this morning. In that internal letter to her colleagues said that quote unquote, uh, all of you are worthy of trust and confidence. You deserve the nation's support in carrying out our critical mission. One of my favorite things about this workforce is that men and women are fiercely committed to the mission. Thank you for all you do and will continue to do for our great nation. That's how she concluded this internal memo.
Right, that's, that's, that's interesting. It remains to be seen as to how this story, of course, pans out. Now, in the United States of America, the responsibility for the protection of the current and the former American presidents lies with the Secret Service. So how has you know, this particular incident affected the Secret Service, which has a very important task going ahead all through the campaigning over the next four months, where president and the presidential candidate will be out and about doing their campaign rallies. So is this now going to impact how security will be laid out for the future campaign rallies of the president and the challenger? Absolutely. We already saw the effect when uh, President Trump went back on the campaign trail. He held a rally indoors. That was uh, the campaigning event that he had immediately after Butler, Pennsylvania. But it's also important to know that in recent months, if not the past year or so, when you look at polls, Americans have more and more lost trust in major institutions in the United States. One, because they don't think that there is any sense of accountability. And two, because they always feel like they're not being told the truth. Whether that's true or not, that's a different topic. But when you look at the polling, it's there. So it was very important for a bipartisan consensus to uh, try to either either have President Biden fire her or for her to resign just because of that so close to the election. But second of all, the consensus also has been that the men and women of Secret Service are doing a great job in what they are doing. It is up at the leadership level of these institutions, Secret Service included, that uh, perhaps isn't doing their best job of putting their best work forward. So moving right. forward, I think you're going to see praise for the Secret Service personnel on the ground. But I think, you know, we're going to try to look for more accountability moving forward. The House is not going to let this go. Absolutely indeed. Susan Tehrani, thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those details there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.